What's inside the SpaceX Starship? Starship serial number 15, also known as SN15, successfully completed SpaceX's fifth high-altitude flight test of a Starship prototype on Wednesday, May 5, 2021. The test took place at Starbase in Texas, in a manner that was analogous to earlier high-altitude flight tests of Starship. The ascent of SN15 was propelled by three Raptor engines, each of which shut down in turn just before the vehicle reached its apogee, which was around 10 kilometers in altitude. Before reorienting itself for re-entry and a controlled aerodynamic descent, SN15 executed a propellant transfer to the internal header tanks, which store landing propellant. This transition was necessary since the header tanks hold landing propellant. The video is going to be very interesting, so make sure you stick till the end. Before we continue our video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to never miss any of our future uploads. Now let's get started. The Starship spacecraft and the Super Heavy rocket, which SpaceX refers to jointly as Starship, constitute a fully reusable transportation system that was planned to deliver both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Starship will be the most powerful launch vehicle ever created in the history of the globe. It will have the capacity to deliver more than 100 tons of cargo into Earth orbit. The Starship prototype descended using active aerodynamic control, which was done by the vehicle's two front flaps and two aft flaps moving in a manner that was independent of one another. An onboard flight computer was responsible for controlling the Starship's altitude while it was in flight and enabled exact landing at the specified spot. This was accomplished by activating each of the four flaps. The Raptor engines of SN15 were restarted as the vehicle was carrying out the landing flip maneuver just before making a normal touchdown on the pad. It can fit inside Elon Musk's Starship. The structure was planned to be able to fit inside SpaceX's Starship, which is a rocket that Elon Musk is constructing to deliver personnel and cargo to the Moon, Mars, and other planets in the solar system. It is going to be the most powerful rocket in the world, and its first test flight into orbit is scheduled to take place sometime this year. It is a mechanism that can be used multiple times and recycles all of its components, including the booster rocket that will launch the Starship into space. Let's take a look at the outside of Elon Musk's Starship, which is a reusable rocket that can take off and land on its own, with the billionaire placing an emphasis on lowering the cost of launch. The rocket has a strikingly distinctive appearance, with a shiny exterior and an extremely pointy cone, both of which were reportedly prompted by Musk's viewing of the film The Dictator, in which the protagonist orders his engineers to make the protagonist's rocket pointier. The most recent test of the Starship's landing system was a complete and total success. Therefore, it is safe to conclude that we do not need to be concerned about anything related to that. Musk has said that a pointy rocket is much more dangerous, but it is safe to conclude that we do not have anything to be concerned about in this respect. The two floors of the spacecraft add up to a total height of 394 feet when measured together. There is a name for both the higher stage, which is referred to as the Starship, and the lower booster stage, which is called the Super Heavy. Over the course of its history, the rocket's booster stage, which is currently the lower stage, has been the subject of the majority of its testing. It is equipped with 33 powerful Raptor engines, the combined force of which will be able to lift more than 2 lakh pounds of mass into low Earth orbit. These Raptor engines will help Starship break out of Earth's gravity, and do so very efficiently using a simple methyl fuel. These flaps, known as the Bell Flap Maneuver, are powered by a separate pack of rechargeable Tesla batteries, eliminating the need for additional fuel space inside the ship and freeing up valuable real estate for the cargo hold and residential quarters. This choice for using liquid methane in combination with liquid oxygen is not simply because it is cheaper and burns clean, it is also a lot more stable and can sustain bigger temperature changes than standard rocket fuel used by NASA. Testing the rocket's capacity to launch and land safely is a high priority, but it's also fortuitous that methane can be cheaply created on the surface of Mars due to the discovery of ice on the Red Planet. More on that later. The space reserved for passengers and goods aboard Starships is also an important consideration. According to Elon Musk, the Starship's upper cone will house the rocket's cargo bay, passenger cabins, viewing gallery, solar storm shelters, and an onboard gym for exercise. 
While Musk claims that the Starship's cabins will be able to accommodate up to 100 passengers per flight, this number could very well be up to 300 if the cabin space were made to accommodate 3 to 4 persons. All of the crew and passengers will have access to the same fitness center. Additionally, a gallery and viewing room will be installed with reinforced glass to allow a view of space as the spaceship sails into undiscovered areas of our solar system. This is vital to reducing the negative effects of zero gravity on the human body. Life-sustaining necessities such as water and oxygen will be recycled from liquid waste in a continuous cycle throughout each trip. However, with the discovery of ice on Mars's polar caps, water extraction from the planet's surface is also a possibility. Important because not only can water be produced, but also methane, which means less need to stock up on fuel for a round trip since liquid methane can simply be produced on the surface of the red planet making the possibility of having up to 300 persons per flight more feasible due to there being more space available. Despite this, some have questioned how the company plans to deal with the issue of life support on board the Starship. This is especially important because SpaceX is the only private space agency to have successfully taken astronauts to the ISS on board the Crew Dragon on eight separate missions, with a ninth mission currently underway. Issues with temperature swings in deep space would not only damage the ship's internal guidance systems, but also its human cargo, prompting the question of how a starship intends to keep its passengers and crew alive throughout the months-long trip to Mars. SpaceX has not yet provided information about the starship's water and oxygen recycling systems or its capability for gas exchange. Without a doubt, SpaceX has a strategy to deal with these problems and would need to replicate the system on the Crew Dragon albeit on a much larger and more complex scale for Starship. However, Musk has stated that life support is a relatively less complex task compared to getting Starship to actually make the trip without going up in fiery explosions every time it touches down. On instance, the spaceship may be put to use for journeys that are considerably shorter in duration than those to the Moon or Mars. SpaceX has disclosed that it plans to utilize Starship for additional suborbital transportation in the form of space tourism and point-to-point -point travel in the near future. Despite the fact that such supersonic journeys have been greeted with opposition, this is still the case. The contract was recently awarded to the company, and it is worth $102 million over the course of five years. The contract is built around the possibility of the Starship being used as a cargo vessel that can transport up to 90 tons of military cargo to any location on the planet in under an hour. Which do you think SpaceX will accomplish first? Sending a human to the moon or completing a trip around the planet in one hour? Hope you guys enjoyed our video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.